What's up, beautiful people? And Michelle here. And it's no secret that I am a lover of herbs, especially the ones that have incredible benefits for hair and scalp health. So in this video, we will be diving into the benefits of hibiscus and sage for hair growth. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified of new uploads. All right, let's get into the tea. So grab your mason jars, put your water to boil. I suggest using distilled water because you don't have to worry about any hard water, any minerals in your water. It's just pure, good old fashioned H2L. This is hibiscus powder. A few of its benefits are that it thickens and reduces hair loss. It alleviates dandruff. It's rich in amino acids that nourish the hair, strengthens the roots, and it brings a beautiful luster and shine to the hair. It's rich in vitamin C, and we all know that vitamin C is very important in hair growth. Having a deficiency in vitamin C can lead to hair loss. Some studies have shown that it may, keyword being may, stimulate some dormant hair follicles there's many studies that say that dormant hair follicles cannot be re-stimulated but some studies have shown that it has for some people and for others it hasn't it just all depends on what's biochemically going on in your actual body it's very individual when it comes to this stuff Sometimes if the hair follicles have not been dormant for too long, it can be re-stimulated and there's other times it just, I'm sorry to say, it just can't. It, it just can't. And that's just the truth. When I make my tea, I only use one teaspoon because it's incredibly potent, okay? It's, this hibiscus is just naturally very, very potent and I like to save my hibiscus powder for special occasions. So I use a small amount, a teaspoon to make my tea and I just add water, cover it, let it sit and use it when I'm ready. All right, moving on to the fresh sage. The scientific name for sage is salva officinalis, which literally means to save or heal. It has a high content of beta tetracycline, which researchers have found to be very effective in treating male and female pattern balding. It adds shine to dull hair. It helps to grow the hair thicker and longer. It stimulates circulation to the scalp, which means more nutrients are getting to the hair follicles for hair growth. It also darkens and intensifies color treatments on the hair. When I'm making my teas with fresh herbs, I just pour the whole thing in the cup and add my water and let it sit and cool until I'm ready to use. No measurements needed. <laughs> You can also use the tea bag form for both these herbs. Just plop in any amount of tea bags you prefer into your mason jar. Some days I use five, six, seven. Today I'm using eight. And I add my boiling water, stir, cover, and I let sit and cool until ready to use. I store my teas in the fridge for a maximum of five days. Some people like to actually go longer with their tea. The reason why I don't is because sometimes in creating my teas, I touch the herbs, I touch the utensils, and they might not be 100% sanitized and sterilized. And this can create cross-contamination of the tea, as well as if I'm opening my tea on a daily basis, I'm exposing it to the air, and if something does drop in it, bacteria can start to grow. So for me, I personally will just do a maximum of five days because I really don't fancy the fragrance of sage to keep it on my hair long term, as well as the fact that hibiscus tea does tend to stain anything white that I wear. I personally prefer to use both of them as rinses or I would just add them to some other DIY projects that I have going on. So when it comes to application, I'm gonna be using them as a rinse. This is actually hibiscus tea made from the tea bags. And I only use two tea bags, hence why the color isn't as dark as the one I showed before. But I just transfer it to this applicator bottle for a more precise and controlled application. I've already gone ahead and washed my hair. I'm now saturating my hair with the tea. Then I add my deep conditioner, cover my hair with a plastic bag, and I will sit under my hooded dryer. 
when it comes to the sage i do the same exact thing i just use it as a rinse i will add it to some other diys here and there it appears in my regimen once every three to four months when i'm just like you know what well, let's switch it up a little bit you know just shop my hair a little bit with something new <laughs> And I like it. It works. When I first used Sage, though, I was like, whoa, this thing made my hair so long. It was ridiculous. I was surprised. I wasn't expecting how soft it made my hair feel. And it was significant. It felt significantly softer. Noticeably softer. So, yeah. When it comes to deep conditioning, I normally sit under my hooded dryer for 10 to 15, maximum of 20 minutes. Simply because I just get fidgety. I cannot sit under that thing for a long time. It's, I could be doing work, I could be reading a book, but eventually I just get hot. I get hot and I'm like, I can't do this. So I sit under there for 20 minutes, I come from under the hooded dryer, and then I allow my hair to cool down for another 10 to 15 minutes. Then I head back into the shower and wash my hair out. When I am rinsing out my deep conditioners, as of late, I have been using cool water. I am very low, 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 low in porosity. However, the more I've been using cool water to close down my cuticles after deep conditioning, the longer my hair actually stays hydrated. When I consistently use warm water, I notice that my hair frizzes a lot more. So to reduce that, I use cool water after I've already added all my deep conditioning agents to my hair so i seal down my hair washing off most of the excess product that was not absorbed but i also seal the cuticles down so whatever was absorbed doesn't come out then i add my leave-in conditioner and style and go about my day i actually followed up with a wash and go using a hibiscus gel i'll link the video to how i made that gel as well as the wash and go that i did using that gel thank you to all my subscribers i truly appreciate every single one of you and you know what i look forward to seeing you in the next one <laughs>